Do we have any viewers at all right now? Yeah. We're good. Did we lose them all? <laughs> Let's replay the intro. Let's please. That's not the intro. Mm. Yeah. You you're playing that music? Well, I mean, that is copyrighted. We they didn't hear that. There's this. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I will break your face. Break my face, baby. You don't need your face to work on this, only your hands. So, look, I'm sorry, but... Are we seriously live right now? Yeah. yeah we're can we, can you roll the intro, yes. please? Yes. Are you intro. still setting the rest of this up? Yes, the intro, is, the intro is ready. Why did you go live before you're setting the rest of this up? It's already set up. Why do we keep? Why do I keep hearing Childish Gambino? I might okay. have put that as a. You might have uh, actually put a copyrighted song as the music. No, if you remove that, or I will not be going live. I realize <laughs> I'm live. The music's gone. The music's gone. Oh yeah, the music's gone. Yeah. So we're just quiet. Yeah. What happened to the music from the last one? Do you want? Do you want me that music? No, it's too late now. I realize I'm difficult to work with. They heard it well. <laughs> Are they all like we heard it? I won't break your face. <laughs> okay, just. It's like a mashup. How about you just stop it? Alright. Can you, uh. No, stop. You're smiling way too much right now. I, I don't like it. Alright. Are you good? Yeah, we're good. Are you, have you stopped the music? Yes. Can we actually start? We are going. We are can live. We, can we maintain some semblance of professionalism, or is that out of the window? That's out of the window. It's out of the window? No. Thanks. No, I'm kidding. We're live. Professional. <sighs> apologize for... for yeah, you should apologize. Bro, go find the cameras now. What? Go is it backwards? Yeah, it <laughs> Brooks like, no. Um, is, it, is it backwards on there? Yeah. I was supposed to stop the camera. Oh, my... Are you serious? Alright, we're good now, we're good now. Oh, God. Alright, we're live. If you weren't I will the tell only... You, I will tell you. Okay. Wait, it's... You're good. Alright, you ready? If you weren't the only person that we knew that knew how to work After Effects, you would be fine. But this wasn't my fault. Yeah. How is this my fault? How is this my fault? It wasn't Shanahan's fault either this season. Yeah, it's CJ. Yeah. We're good. So. All right, go. Are we good? Yeah. That's like take delay. I've got like at least another couple minutes long down on this page. You want this? We live. Uh, we live. Well, uh, so I should probably do that monologue thing now. I was going to make a joke about how we met uh, 8 p.m. Central, but we missed that too. Um, it's closer to 8.30 Central time, so... Once again, production staff, let's... Round of applause. Baby, make that ass clap. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Five okay. viewers, hey -o. So if you... Uh, Seven. Seven. Oh my goodness, that's exponential. <laughs> so if you if you caught... <laughs> can you just... just Let's lower it down. We're not that excited. It's, not okay. it's Brooke's fault. Oh God. oh God, is it? Yeah. Who's talking? Mm, that's right. The guy behind the camera doesn't talk. Okay, let's be real. Yes, I know I'm an asshole. The, uh... <sighs> Alright, okay. let's go. If you caught some of the monologue last time, which I'm just going to breeze through now. <laughs> Essentially, I'm going to restate it. Excuse me. Uh, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Um, I realize you started this channel, but you're being a nuisance. <laughs> Essentially, if you heard some of the monologue last time, 2012 was such a big year for comics that it's kind of hard to see in any way that 2013 could compare. But what we got was actually a lot of really good movies where we had, you know, just, you know, really three major movies in 2012 with The Avengers, Amazing Spider-Man, uh, and Dark Knight Rises. This year we got the beginning of Phase 2 and Iron Man 3 and Thor The Dark World. Uh, the beginning of the DC Cinematic Universe and Man of Steel. And Kick-Ass 2, everybody loves Kick-Ass, so... It was kind of hard to see, you know, 
how this year could compare at the beginning of 2013, but it actually, you know, it held its own and it did really well. So, looking back from 2014, we decided that we were going to do an award show to celebrate 2013, and hopefully this is going to be something like every year, but this is, you know, inaugural. Um, clearly very rough, seeing as I was joking when I said that this was a good idea, and uh, that was only three days ago. So anyways, without further ado, I'd like to introduce my co-host, who's going to come over here now and stop laughing. Stop being so happy. This is a travesty. <laughs> this is You're hilarious. smiling way too much. <laughs> I'm just watching over there from the computer. Are you, uh, I need you to cue things no, up for me. She's just taking over the comments. Brooke, Brooke, Brooke is taking over the comments. All right. Brooke has uh, been fired as a system producer and is now our social media guru. Oh, God. This is a mess. I get, I get emails and every comment just saying I read everything. That's right. And we're live tweeting, by the way. Don't forget to tweet us at Hybrid Comics. You know, this isn't as polished as I thought it would be, but it's, you know, the best things aren't perfect. It's not. Okay. Anyways. <coughs> okay, also announcing. In the comments, uh, we have two awards decided by fan vote, and that's the Best Hero and Best Villain Award. Uh, so we want to turn that over to you guys for you to give us your input. We realize that we couldn't get, you know, fan input and, like, you know, mob rule decide everybody and what we could do, you know, for all these awards, we the panel of judges get in here. Panel of judges decided all these yeah, awards with, with your coke will. This is our technical advisor. Hey man, the reason why all this is what, what the heck? If you were literally this is Spotify, turn off Spotify. <laughs> we're good. Did you quit Spotify? Yes, I quit. Did you so just I quit. pause it? I quit Spotify. My computer does that sometimes. Apologies, he will be shot. <laughs> that wasn't my fault this time. No, it's Sorry, Brooke, you're losing Do you want a cigarette time. before we... I love a cigarette. Yeah, okay. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? Brooke says she don't play with that shit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> how, how did you get there, Brooke? <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. Here we go. So, like I said, you guys vote for the best hero and best villain in the comments. Let the us know at the end of the show. We are the dynamic duo. We are the dynamic duo. Clearly, I'm Batman. He's Dick Grayson or Damian Wayne. Well, he's every. Dick. He's anybody but Tim Drake. Um, the best hero is our plastic man. Is Tim Drake Red Robin? No. Okay, let me clarify that. Best hero in a comic book of the year. So that you know, Iron Man, uh, Thor, kick ass. Whatever. Let us. Um. Oh. Kiss girl. No. Ryan Jeff Rose. Bridges' beard. Okay, anyways, without further ado, I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> going on. I was trying to vote. They're voting. They're voting. Oh, they're voting, but that doesn't matter until the end of the show. Okay. So, right. I need you to cue things. So, without further ado, let's start small. So, because of technical issues, we don't have most of these files. But... So, we're just going to jump right in. And so, the way we broke this down is we have sections for movies, television, comics, and video games. And we've, you know, had a panel in categories such as best actor, best actress, Log best debate. directing, to, you know, best ensemble in a TV show, best live action series, best animated series. And we do have graphics to go along with some of these. Uh, time constraints, because we were trying to get it out, uh, limited that. But we will let you know at the end of the show, you know, who, who we... Uh, Basically, who won and why, essentially, why we thought they won. But So we have a bunch of different categories. Hilariously, it was hard to choose the worst ones. And at the end, yeah, no, it was... Yeah. We debated on the worst one. That, that was, was most, like, the best, with all of the best, like, best actor, it was, you know, easy. clear. Best actress, That's also right. pretty clear. Best director and best, like, all the best were really easy, but the worst were what we really had fun debating. And at the end, of course, we have a special um, Will Award as a comic book outsider who essentially is just going to give an award for something. That makes no sense. And also have a most anticipated award at the very end that for, we're going to give yeah, it. For the comic book movie of 2014. That we are most looking forward to. How, how about that? Is it going well? Eventually, like, after the first sections, we're going to open it up to uh, fan reactions. Or go GT, do not bring twerking so, into our video. No twerking. I'm sorry. Okay, so, not without yet. further ado, let's jump right in. And the Best Actor Award is our first category. Now, you would think this is tough, uh, especially with caliber of acting performances we got in comic book movies this year. Robert Downey Jr. is one nominee. He was Iron Man. Tom Hilston from Thor The Dark World, another nominee. Chris Hemsworth. Chris, Chris Hemsworth, Hemsworth also a nominee. Not a nominee, but they go with Chris Hemsworth. Um, 
Aaron Taylor Johnson from Kickass was our fourth nominee. But the winner in that category is Tom Hiddleston from Thor The Dark World. And literally, this is just because I mean, I, you saw you the movie. Up. Did you see the movie, Brooke? Thor The Dark World? For the biceps? I oh my don't understand this. Okay. He stole every scene he was in. This was more of a Loki movie than a Thor movie. Yeah. He really, you know, was a standout star. Uh, and really, like, because I think we, the screen time was pretty much on par, I think, for Thor and Loki. It's like Thor's story was a side story to Loki's story. I think this is more, like, for character development, it was more on Loki's side. Yeah, no, definitely saw, you saw more of him. Thor essentially, the vulnerable side in the beginning of the movie, from the beginning of the movie to the end of the movie, Thor didn't change. He was the same person. Yeah, essentially. And Loki changed the most. So it was more about Loki's, you know, travels than any man. And, okay, I guess we'll go to the second one. Um, best actress in a comic book movie. And, you know, a lot of nominees here. Uh... Natalie Portman from Thor The Dark World. Chloe Grace Moretz from Kick-Ass 2. Uh, you know... Oh, what's her face? Gwyneth Paltrow in Iron Man 3. Uh, and even... I don't know what's happening. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow in Iron Man 3. And even you know someone like Stephanie Soziak or Mary Louise Parker in R.I.P.D. So many good you know potentials you know, that could have gotten this award. But in the end, we decided to give it to Chloe Grace Moretz for Kick-Ass 2. Yes. This was kind of... Interestingly, she ran away with it. I don't feel like anyone else was quite as strong as Chloe Grace Moretz uh, because, you know, really, it's like, look at her composition. Natalie Portman wasn't great. Gwyneth Paltrow, was, she was good, but she wasn't, you know, Nothing anything special. Out, yeah. but Chloe Grace Moretz is a star on the rise, and she, again, like Tom Hiddleston, stole the show in every scene she was in. Okay. okay. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm, I'm Josh tweeting. is live-tweeting. Uh, can we hand that off to someone else so you can... William will handle what we do. Okay. Okay. Do you use a lot of hashtags? No, yeah. I'm just I'm okay. just write for like what right, the like category right. one I got and then hashtag like tweet right. them like do like an ad and then type in their name you should find it. Alright. Okay. And now let's go next to this. our live tweeting. Live tweeting. Josh will handle the next award. <coughs> Alright, so for directors, this one was pretty hard to decide. Yeah. Um, really I guess it boiled down to which director had probably the most not enjoyable vision per se, but the best vision I would say it's for the character. In the end, the final two nominees were Shane Black from Iron Man Three and James Mangold from The Wolverine. And the winner is James Mangold for The Wolverine. I I really love The Wolverine. I was, love the story. I like the I like I like the direction they took with it, where it was a personal story for Wolverine. Yep. And you saw inside the character instead of what we like so far. Whenever they explore that, it's like really brief. They don't really go into like who he is and you know, what makes him him kind of thing. And, you know, you always see the Weapon X clause, but not the person. So I really enjoyed how this movie... It was sort of a surprise of the year, I think. Because I don't think yeah, anyone was really expecting a Wolverine good. standalone movie to be that good. It and it was arguably, you know, one of the better movies of the year. It's the best X-Men movie they've made alongside X-Men First Class. I'd say Class. First Class is still the best. Yeah, First Class Wolverine is the best, but stands Wolverine up. is... The story was second. very, very good, I feel like. Okay, so, and our, you know, best movie. Best movie, this was the big one. This this, there were a lot of, I mean, because there's, you like so many of them. Like, Man of Steel had its, you know, upside. Uh, Iron, Man, Iron 3. Man 3 was a great movie because of Robert Downey Jr. Thor The Dark World because of Tom Hiddleston. The Wolverine because of the solid story and Hugh Jackman's performance. Kick-Ass 2, you know was in there for the right. very brief it moments. Was, it, was, <laughs> it was low in the standings. Low, low in the standings. Uh, but in the end, we decided to give that award to The Wolverine. Yes, The Wolverine won Best Movie, uh, comic movie for 2013. Like I said, it was the surprise of the summer. I think, you know, you'll yeah. all agree with me, I think. Nobody was really expecting it to be as good as it was. I was expecting it to be um, like a C-quality movie best, and it got like a... B plus, A minus. I mean, Based off of the famous opinion. Frank Miller story, I think. Uh, the arc from the 80s. I want to say it's, to I want to say it's Frank Miller, but, you know, it's something Miller. Did we lose Thousand camera for a little bit? Did we, just for a second. Just for a second. Crash. Okay. We're good, though. Are we good? We're, We're good. back live? We're back live. Oh, Jesus Christ. How many more technical issues can we have? Don't say that. That's Yeah, yeah please don't right. say that. In the end. Okay, now... I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but we see these awards as part Oscars and part Razzies. So we do the best for categories, and then we do the worst for the categories. And I think we have a worst for each best 
in cases. There are some where we decided that that's kind of dumb to do a worst for that, so let's not. But without further ado, let's go to, of course, the worst actor in a comic book movie this year. And it's very funny because we had a very, a very different, uh, <laughs> a very uh, different choice in mind before we remembered that this movie existed. Um, and of course, the worst actor in a comic book movie for 2013 goes to Ryan, Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds because it's Ryan. Re All right. So here's the thing: every movie for R.I.P.D. Every comic book movie Ryan Reynolds has been in, I can remember, Blade Three. It's been bad. Is Blade Three, Green Lantern. Um. He's O for three. X Men Origins. The, oh no, that's terrible. He's O for four. R.I.P.D. He's winning the Lifetime He's Achievement for Award five. for sucking in comic book movies. It's O for 5. That's, that's the funny thing is, is he seems like a good actor. And he's done good things. Even the right film. Like Zombieland. Or not Zombieland. What was it? It was like Adventureland. Not Adventureland. Like, it was a theme park. It was Jesse um, Eisenberg and Kristen Stewart. Was he in I Adventureland? I want to. All right, I don't know if that's the name of the movie. I can't remember. But I want to think he did a pretty good job on it. And given the right script and director, he can, I just think he's always typecast in a certain role, so he plays superheroes in a certain way, and it doesn't go well. Dang, well, you're doing fantastic in this shit. <laughs> Anyways, about, about he's just done with us. Anyways, worst actress in a comic book movie. Now, this one was sort of tough. Like we mentioned, Chloe Grace Moretz sort of ran away with the Best Actress Award. She is hit girl. So... Who else? I mean, there was definitely a big space between her and everybody else. So who took the worst? I the worst? I wanted to give it to Kat Dennings because I did. thought she I didn't like her character at all. But essentially, for me, the only reason we couldn't give it to Kat Dennings is because her character was essentially the same. There's no, you know, and it's not really a main role. It's a supporting role per se. So all they did was give her more screen time, and so her character didn't change. So without further ado. Oh, my reading this art. Yes, you are. And Natalie Portman in For the Now, that's not to say Thor with Dark World is a bad movie. I hated her character, though. Her character has been the weak point of both Thor movies. Yeah, because the, the awesome thing about Thor is that he doesn't have to go back to Earth. Or, like, of all the heroes, like, every hero is tied to Earth besides Thor. I can't Thor. say her character. I would say her like Jane Foster. You have to have Jane Foster, I think, but yeah. in some capacity. We disagree on that. Agree to disagree. Okay, well, anyway, she gets the reality. The, the, the semi, the pseudo resi. The Sacco. Um, Sacco. Anyways. Sacco. And now moving on to worst director. James Mangold was our best director for The Wolverine. But like I said with Ryan Reynolds, we kind of completely forgot that R.I.P.D. was a comic book movie. That's how bad it was. So like five minutes ago. So we ended up, or not, well, sort of. Relatively speaking. <laughs> so we ended up giving worst director to uh, Robert Schwenk, Schwentke. It doesn't matter. Schwentke. He doesn't deserve his last name. No. He for he R.I.P.D. Directed R.I.P.D. It was not good. It was, it was, now, Red 2 was... It was such an interesting concept that you messed it up. But anyways, and with that, I guess we'll just breeze right into the worst movie of the year, which is R.I.P.D. If you couldn't tell. If you couldn't. I mean, we... Just this movie was such it. a train wreck. It was just, I mean, basically they were like, oh, we're just going to put Jeff Bridges on screen and it'll be funny. And it wasn't, it didn't really work. Didn't, 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 didn't click with anyone. No. Really. And so now let's get some fan reactions. Brooke, what are people saying? I think Kat Dennings' boobs deserve an award. So Kat Dennings' boobs deserve an award. Thank I don't know what a award is there. It's but... now coming in, the, uh, it's going to be in consideration for the Will Award. Yeah, Kat Dennings' yeah. boobs <laughs> in consideration for the Will Award. Anything else? They voted it well. We're not doing the voting right now. But <laughs> any any comments about me or CJ or Will or you or someone? Did somebody say this sucks? <laughs> no. Okay, we're doing good so far. Because it did it. It All doesn't. Right. Originally, when all technical things were going good, I was going to have a call to a, you know somebody else that we could interview mm -hmm. and talk to them about 2013. Um, I would say we haven't reached out to anyone, so that's probably not the best idea. Um, if you'd like to call, comment uh, with your Skype name, and we'll get you in here to talk about 2013. Skype name is just comment to your Skype. Zero, comment with your Skype name, and we'll call you. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, we gotta add you first, and then we'll call you. Okay. If you're not already added. Great to go, GT. Don't get all happy. Anyways, we'll we'll Antoine. We'll get to you in a second. I'm just saying it because he put he, he talked about twerking, and you don't want to get me so happy. Anyways, Anyways my, moving into TV, the the other awesome category, TV. Might surprise a lot of you. Uh, yeah, you so uh, I will go ahead and start. Uh, now, TV is one of those things that comic books have been expanding into 
uh, for a few years, uh, especially well, yeah. for decades they've been trying. Adam West, Batman. DC, uh, I think, has probably done the best back in the day when it comes to so television. Far. Like at least branching out, like every like they start off obviously with Adventures of Superman. Yeah. With and everything before Marvel posted a TV show, and they had the Shazam or Captain Marvel TV show, Superman TV show, the Batman Adam West one infamously. Um, they had a bunch of TV shows, and recently they've had a bunch of TV shows. So like, while Marvel's been dominating the movie field, the big screen, uh, the small screen has been primarily DC, I'd say. However, Marvel is making moves and is yes. actually you know pushing for their TV to be connected to their overall cinematic universe, especially upcoming with Luke Cage, yeah, Iron with yeah, Fist and Daredevil and Jessica Jones on Netflix. Agents of Shield is the primary example of this because that you know directly correlates with the movies. But I would still say DC has, you know, it has the prouder tradition of those things. And it actually, you know, for the longest time has sort of dominated TV. And it sort of dominated movies for a while, too, before I would say this last decade. We can't forget other publishers no. um, have had their TV shows. Like I Walking think, Dead. I think it's fun had a TV show for a while. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Walking Dead's probably what most people know, uh, but they might not know it's a TV, like it's based on a comic book. Uh, but anyways, so just to remind you that Walking Dead is in consideration for awards here, not just, you know, Can't see that the Arrow and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. But anyways, uh, we're also considering animated shows. So we have an award for the best animated show, but again, we have, you know, best actor, worst actor, everything like that. While Josh checks his phone, I'll go ahead and read off best actor. Now, there were a lot of good people to consider in this category as well. Do you go with, you know, uh, Clark Gregg for Phil Coulson? Uh, Stephen Amell for Oliver Queen and Arrow. Uh, Rick Grimes as, you know, well, not Rick Grimes. Andrew Lincoln is Rick Grimes. He is practically Rick Grimes. He Rick is Grimes. Rick Grimes, even though he's British and not from Georgia. Let's be honest. But overall, there was one person that stood out to us for his work this this year on, you know, a television show. And for that, the best actor for a uh, comic book TV show goes to David Morrissey as Philip, or the governor from The Walking Dead. You have you been watching? Ass. Yes. Have you been watching The Walking Dead yeah. this season? You well, not about, uh, not all this season, but I've seen like the governor on the show. He's he actually good. when he should actually, but I mean, if you haven't seen it, I you know you don't understand his episodes this season. Like he had three episodes that he was in, and he basically sold the show. Yeah, essentially. So that's all. Like, that's all I've been hearing about The Walking Dead this season is how everyone's you know, for the steam governor, and then they see the governor, and they're blown away. This and then it's basically post-government. Well, that's everyone but Armin, because Armin is just yelling about how it just needs to stop <laughs> existing. Um, but no, David Morrissey did a fantastic job as the governor. He's another person that's English, that is doing southern accents. Looks like we're having an incoming Skype, Skype call. From who? From Eagle GC. Dude, we're not ready for him yet. All right, we're not ready for you, man. It's a long time. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry uh, anyways... Dying. Moving on to Best Actress, Hybrid is still checking his phone, and he's yeah, not I'm just making sure, because I have these auto messages. About Anyways, uh, moving on to Best Actress. Again, some really good possibilities here. Do you go with someone from Arrow yeah. or someone from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Um, who knows? Uh, we ended up going the route of... Well, I'll just go ahead and announce it. The award for Best Actress in a Comic Book TV Show goes to Ming-Na Wen as Agent May from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I had no say in that because I didn't think any of them deserved it, personally. Yeah. But to me, Ming-Na Wen does a great job. She was Mulan, by the way, if you didn't know, and she just turned 50 she like was, a month ago. Yeah, she looks the voice really of Mulan. good yep. 50. She was also in one of my favorite superhero movies of all time, which is Push. Um, she was in Push. She was in Push. Anyways, she actually does a fantastic job of saying a lot when she's saying when a little. Lot, by yeah. that, I mean she essentially doesn't right. have to. She can convey what she wants to say when she's not saying anything, and, you know, it's just all about, you know, body language uh, and her demeanor. Anyways, another big thing to consider, uh, other than actors and actresses, is the ensemble. How does the cast work together? I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is not in the running for this, as no. of yet. They're improving, but they're not quite. You don't even consider Arrow an ensemble of any kind, really. And with that, I guess you've never made any choices. I mean, one of the best ensemble comic book TV show is... The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead cast. They have great chemistry. Yeah, they? they do. Well, it's, 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 it's probably writing, the show. It's a combination of writing and the fact that they're already a few seasons in. Yes. I would say, you know, if you give Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. a few seasons, you know, so it might actually resemble, you know, something like that. But anyways, you know, despite the qualms that I have with The Walking Dead this season, uh, the governor and the ensemble are still highlights of the show. Exactly. Uh, the only thing that's suffering this season is really plot and writing, pacing. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. 
the best live action comic book television series uh, this year, though, is surprisingly uh, to many of you probably it's Arrow. Um, Arrow has been really on point for season two so far. For the last half. Um, especially the last few episodes, last like three, four episodes, been really on point. Season finale, mid season finale, I should say, it was really good. So, like. So yeah, my <laughs> my expectations for the show for season two wasn't that high, and now my expectations are higher because they did a really good job. To me, at times Arrow dangerously toes the soap opera line in terms of how the acting is, and we'll get into that more in a second. But the you they've know the concept soapy. of the show has been fantastic. I don't think they've been less soapy, but they've, the concept of the show is fantastic, and the execution in the last half of the eight, like well, second season has been really excellent. Of it. Slade has always been my favorite character. He does a very good job on the show. Anyways, without further ado, let's also move into Best Animated Series, an award that I promised you. Um, now this was tough, um, thinking of, you know, a pretty good animated series. I know there's... This will not surprise you. It surprised me that this counted as 2013. But what we're I made get sure to, it You counted. made sure it counted. Um, essentially, then you go ahead and read the award. Young Justice. Yep. It is the Firefly of animated TV. I think Spectacular Spider-Man is the Firefly, but he could think it's too Firefly. Firefly. It's the Firefly of animated TV. This, It was fantastic. The only reason I say it's Firefly is because I think it was a little too high concept for a lot of kids to get. Yeah, uh, well, I see. Yeah, the only the reason, toys didn't suck. only reason Young Justice, just like Green Lantern, the animated series... Well, Green Lantern, the animated series got canceled because the movie wasn't going to get a sequel. Yep. And the toys were selling bad. And same thing, Young Justice toys weren't selling that great. Which surprises me, because they could have made a toy for like their stealth like suits, their regular suits, and yeah. But whatever. Um, all in all, that oddly trans- transitions are awkward. Uh, worst actor. You want to say it? Uh, you can go ahead. Okay, it's CJ, because everyone said that CJ looks like Agent Ward earlier. In the, the last live stream attempt. But seriously, it is Brett Dalton who plays Agent Ward on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So don't even compare me to that. Um, or I'll start calling you other things. Uh, <laughs> really, he's acted like a 2 by 4 at times this year. It shouldn't come as a surprise to any of you that he gets the worst actor. No. His he's been getting been better. Best. To, give you, to give you you know, some perspective, this is the first thing that he's ever done. Uh, as an actor, pretty much, I that's, believe that's this is known. Which really? is kind of it's kind of funny because I mean, I mean, you would you would think typically to land something on a big network like this that's you know a high budget product, you would have to have you know Just some experience, too. and also but, probably budgeting. Like I said, he's getting better, so you know we'll see how it goes. We're Anyways, not saying you're uh, a bad actor. We're just saying, Cora. huh? We're talking about the Legend of Cora. Cora is not a comic book. Okay. Well, well, clear, clear that, clear I would have. The, the thing comics, is, they're in the Pokemon. To clarify, yeah, they're talking about it in the comics. Legend of Korra is great, and I would give it to you know Legend of Korra. However, I would say Young Justice to me is a better overall TV show. Anyways, it's, I mean there are Avatar comics. Young Justice but, handles the teenage concepts in a better way, execution wise. I would say yeah. Also, I say with Legend of Korra, like they're both great. I, I don't even want to compare the shows. They're both great shows. They're both. I, I love they're fantastic. Those shows. And I'm happy they're, like, well, at least for Legend of Korra, I'm happy that's still going on. Yes. So, and then we talk about that. The um, issue is, it's it's partially because we're mourning Young Justice because it was so good, but also I feel like, in terms of, you know, comics, it is it, it makes a lot more yeah, sense. Yeah, it's, it like, it's like Heath Ledger. Show. It was a great performance, but, you know, he died. We're sad. So, um, yeah, it's kind of... Anyways, that's not what we love. I love Korra. They can't hear us? No, no, no. no. What? I said Antoine was to come in here first. Well, Antoine's going to get Antoine. in after this. After, no, Stop. Antoine's getting in after this. Name Tell him to wait, or he's not going to be in it at all. No, he can uh, wait. Guys. Yeah. yeah. So fancy. Anyways, uh, so for worst actress in a TV show, uh, Willa Holland as Thea Queen from Arrow. I hate that character she, so much. You would think that she has no acting experience, um, because literally so all she does is show up and... Be really just she kisses Roy a little she bit. She overreacts, and I find that a lot of people in Arrow do that, just overreactions. Besides, she also she also just seems to just overreact and cry a lot. And she's like, "I don't like my mother," and then yeah, she's like, "I like my I mother." Like, and it's like, part of that's writing, but you know, she doesn't handle it. I'd say good actors can elevate bad writing in the same way that you know good writing can elevate bad actors. And what we see here is okay writing not helping a bad. Every character in this show, besides her, has, like, I've actually, like, 
at one time either felt for the character, or even even Felicity. I've either even I've either felt for the character. Or I've actually like believed in what they're doing or something because they actually did a good job acting. I've never with, with her as of now nothing. Her acting is very like nothing dynamic. No, it's not good. And anyways. Uh, without further ado, we'll go to the worst series. Now, this is both live action and animated. You want to cry? It does. Uh, um, you can go ahead and say it then. Teen Titans Go. It's terrible. It's uh, literally it's, awful. See, I think it wouldn't be as bad for fans if they did it first off, market it to be a sequel to Teen Titans, which was a very well received show. Also, if they didn't mark, if they didn't hire the same exact cast, like the same voice actors on the show voicing the same characters. Everyone expects this as like a sequel to Teen Titans. It's, it is not living. Yeah, I guess technically so it far. is, but it's just so. You, it's it's poorly the, written. The intelligence no is gone. So, yeah, essentially. The intelligence is gone. Like the art style is very. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's very yeah. simplistic and. Like it's obviously marketed towards a young, much younger audience than Teen Titans was, uh, for. And so okay, so now we're going to some more fan reaction. Uh, how, how what are they saying? Work? Social network person? So, Cora, for that. Thea. This oh, wait, Thea, bad. Thea. That definitely wasn't Nick Whitcomb. So, yeah. Nick, if you're watching this, you know what I mean. Alright, anything else? Um, not, not, not. not. Alright, now we can bring Antoine in now. Saying, let's get to the actual section. Sports. I was say we can stream on the phone. Bring it in, Bring it in Antoine. Say Antoine. hi, Antoine. Welcome. Oh, hi. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Can you can you guys hear him? Well, we can't. Antoine, can't I'm just letting ourselves. you know the stream is on a tad bit of a delay. So oh, I can tell. Okay, when Josh so. asks people, "Can you hear Antoine?" Uh, probably we're just gonna like go ahead like later. you can hear him. Okay. All right, Antoine. So, Antoine, what was your favorite movie of 2013? Comic book based? Yes. Everything is comic book based. Uh, it's a tie between The Wolverine and Iron Man 3. Choose that's a good choice. choice. Yeah, that's good choices. Uh, I was about to say try lightly, but there's something to try lightly about. What true, do you true. What do you think about the selections thus far? Like people, are the people in the comments agreeing, or are they? Um... Well, I mean, everyone seems to be paying attention. That's like. Good. Uh, that's good. Some kid won't stop talking about Arrow. Um, Who won't stop talking about Arrow? Uh, Super Saiyan 8K. Is that Nick? Uh, I, I don't know. He's hitting on that one girl that's Brooke. writing the comments. Brooke, get on camera. What? Get on camera. Oh. I mean, stop it. <laughs> hey, that's my girl for dog chill. All right. Anyways, so Antoine, um, do you agree with the choices so far? Yeah. Anything you would have changed? Um, not, not in particular. I, I agree with everything so far. And on a scale of 1 to 10, how rough is this so far? <laughs> it, it, it's, not, it's not that rough. Um, it, it's entertaining. Uh, yeah, like yeah. That. Our struggles can be entertaining. Nick Whitcomb would like to join this conversation, and I Nick said no. can jump in after the next thing, because we need to talk to somebody else All after right. the next section, but... Anyways, Antoine, what are you looking for in the next part of the show? Ooh, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what else is going to happen, but exactly, you'll see. Just guess, guess. Um, are more, you entertained? More awards. If you would guess Hunger Games, you're right. Um, uh -huh. Me and Josh uh -huh. kill each other. <laughs> oh. Are you not entertained? <laughs> I thought you were going to have uh, Jennifer Lawrence on the show, but uh, and we're about to have. I would propose. Um, Katniss Everdeen, please go on to the couch. Anyways, Katniss, we're talking to you. Please go. Next the couch. up is a section about actual comics, not just comic book TV or comic book movies. Uh, William is going to be quiet. Uh, Josh is going to get back over here and stop leaving me alone. And then later we've got video games and the Will Award and the most anticipated award. Ron uh, Also, games. we're going to announce the best hero and the best villain. Yeah, uh, decided by you guys. So, Antoine, thank you for being here. Don't forget to live tweet, Will. Yes, William. Also, yes. he's not even live tweeting. Uh -huh. Thanks, Antoine. Thank you. Welcome. It was like I'm still done. All right. Now, uh, that was Antoine, uh, the very talented Eagle GT. Go check out his channel. He's got some good stuff.
Probably he was promoting himself earlier yes. in the comments. He uh, static shocked the bridge. He was. <laughs> static, it's hilarious. It's actually a really, a really good series. Uh, but he's also a really good interviewer. Uh, he makes me look like shit, unfortunately. <laughs> but anyways, um, we lost our tech guy, and we kind of need him to come over here for this comments thing. So I'm just going to talk a little bit more. This year in comics was eclectic, as everything. We get crises every week now. Yeah, uh, but overall, like, there were some really good series. There we can't live ones, in New York, but New York is just that, it's like Metropolis at the end of Man of Steel. It's completely just insurance is skyrocketed. Nobody's it's like coming to save. Nobody you. has a job. Exactly. Everybody's dying. Everyone's in construction. Once. Actually, that's what everyone's job is. They're in construction. So before we get into awards, what was your favorite comic this year? Not, your favorite, not necessarily the best, but your favorite. Hmm. I think my favorite to read. That I enjoyed the most was probably, I'd say, it's either Superior Spider-Man or Exo Manowar, and I say, I th those because for Superior Spider-Man, I'm wondering how far Dan Slott's gonna be able to push the character of Spider-Man. How long he's gonna be able to keep Peter Parker dead? Well, yeah. How long he's gonna be able to keep Doc Ock Spider-Man? How long, like, how far you can push the character? Because when Peter Parker comes back, obviously he's gonna have to deal with the repercussions of whatever Doc Ock does. So yeah. I'm kind of wondering, like, how far they can... You know, kill everyone. Push. And then <laughs> for x Man War, it's just a nice, fresh, you know, breath of air. It's actually a really good sci-fi book. Like, they've had some really good issues. Good stuff. Tens. I'm still loving Aphrodite 9. And, oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Top Cow. Think Tank. Very top good. Very, good. very underrated stuff. Anyways... So I'm gonna skip over best writer for now because I'm gonna save that for last because that doubles as a uh, lifetime achievement as a lifetime achievement award. But uh, also, if that gives away who it is, then uh, you know. Anyways, so we're just gonna jump into best artist. Uh, I'm gonna let you read that. Okay. That right. You had all of them. So best artist is Saad Rebic. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Rebic. He. Uh, you guys probably know him. He did the art for Thor: God of Thunder. I've heard very good things. Very. About him. Awesome art. Um, it's just very. It's like paint art. It's just yeah. like Alex Ross kind of art mm -hmm. style. Um, give you a good idea of it. I haven't Alex been able Ross to check out the War God of Thunder yet. I hear really you good things. We do. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm slacking. Our company has a Comicsology account. Yes. In case you it's one of the perks. Know. Work perk. Yep. <laughs> um, best storyline. Will's like I'm about to hit that up. <laughs> Best storylines, Infinity by Marvel. Jonathan yes. Hickman did a great job on that. Very, that was fantastic. A lot of this dues effect that he's writing New Avengers and Avengers, and that means he doesn't have to yeah. compromise with anybody. So essentially, he's story. like he's got complete control. There's no balance of power. He is the dictator. Uh, anyways, all right. So best comic. This is in probably general. in general like this is probably. You know, I know you have a particular soft spark in your heart for this. I know this is going to be highly debated because a lot of people, you know, might say one thing. It's probably the most brilliant series I've ever That's why we, we copped out and we put, we have two categories, best comic and best new comic. So that might tell you what it is. But anyways, the best comic so far of 2013 is East of West. And I know you are particularly fond of that one. Yes. So what do you like of, about it? All right. So East of West, written by Jonathan Hickman, published by Image Comics. It's brilliant. Obviously, it's a great um, look into modern politics, modern society in general, um, culture, like leaders. So, quick summarize it for people that might not know what it is. Basically, it's, it's a, image comics. I think technically it'd be a dystopian future, but in the future, basically, the four horsemen of the apocalypse come. But they don't come to like destroy the world. They come because of this. They're all everyone's directed by this thing called the message. Which I think is probably like a very demented Done. like word of it's God. Camera's on. Yeah, yay. on. But anyways, East of West, um, describe it. Yeah, it's like a Western sci fi dystopian future thing. Very nice. The four horsemen, the apocalypse come. It sounds really complicated. If you pick up like a random issue, you will be confused. You have to read it. The only problem with the series is they have to read it from issue one. But very nice. It's it's brilliant. Like it's hard to describe. It's just it sounds excellent. When you read it and you like you actually like you're not skimming, you actually read it and you think about what you just read, sometimes it'll blow it'll blow your mind. Create a monster and uh, you just gotta 
Uh, I let him loose. I didn't realize what I was doing. No, excellent. Anyways, yeah, we're not going to talk about that. Anyways, so like I said, we copped out. Uh, some of you might be complaining about what we just said the best comic was. We have the best new comic category, and that goes to Superior Spider-Man from Marvel Which Comics. Which hilariously started technically first week of January. Yes. It's, it ran the table. It survived the entire way. Uh you know, from January to December as probably the best new comic of the year. Uh, in the wake of Peter Parker's death, a lot of people were confused. A lot of people thought Dan Slott was just pretty much going to pull a family guy and instantly bring Peter Parker back, you know, after a couple weeks. I didn't but think he it'd didn't. last this long. It's 20-something issues in and, and real strong. I would say, you know, don't be offended if you get offended by this. So don't be offended if you're offended. I would say real fans of comics are appreciating what he's doing on the run. Um, just in terms of, you know, the originality of it. <laughs> Anyways, um, and now I'm going to ho- go ahead and get back to the best writer slash lifetime achievement award. This is my giveaway who it is to you. Um, but I-, I believe we have a graphic for this. Are we queuing that up? Are you ready? Yeah. All right. So the best writer uh, for a comic of any comic of 2013, and it's more than one comic, uh, goes to Jeff Johns for Green Lantern slash Aquaman slash Justice, Justice League, League slash every just everything almost basically everything besides everything good besides right. just Scott Snyder's dictatorship on Batman. Yes, and we say that's you know the Lifetime Achievement Award because he has done so much for DC just in terms of he did the Green Flash Lantern Point. run is probably they read one of, of, it's it, one of the best runs on the character on any character in history. I it's what say. everyone. Bases, Green Lantern on, so say like emotional spectrum. Yep. Jeff Johns, like all that stuff. Jeff Johns, a lot of the Aquaman love now is it's because, because of Jeff, Jeff Johns. He's made Aquaman a badass. So I mean, I feel like agrees with this pick. Um, anyways, so now we get to the worsts again for this category, um, and some of the if you've watched the show for a while and you've seen us talk about the comics that we hate, this is us venting about the comics that we hate. Uh, so let's go. Worst writer, Scott Lobdell. Yes, his, Scott Lobdell. A lot of it's because he screwed up. He messed with Tim Drake, who's my favorite character, and uh, yeah, he was never wrong. Then. Just it, him writing Game Time, Superman, Superboy. Um, what else did he write? Dick Grayson was still Robin. Okay, anyways, he wrote horrible comics. He has no sense of good storytelling, Dick writing, better. characterization, etc. The essentials. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, so the worst artist is uh, yeah, come on, Jeff DiPaolo. Actually, okay, before okay. we announce this, I'm going to get thank you to our awesome social media correspondent. This is who you've been talking to, Brooke. Say yeah, hello. That's Brooke. Brooke. Hi. I don't even understand the comment. It's, there's, there. They're just mouth breathers. It's okay. They're just masturbating. All these keyboards. <laughs> oh. All right. No. She's like, yeah. She, I'm gone. Anyways, okay. Our viewership just jumped. We're going to try to stall, so we'll get back. She's a thumbnail, but... <laughs> Anyways. So, worst artist of 2013 is Jeff DiPaolo uh, for Thunderbolts. I didn't believe it until I saw it from my own eyes. Thunderbolts art is terrible. It's ridiculous. I yeah, whoever did Thunderbolts... Jeff DiPaolo did. <laughs> That's why we're giving him the worst award. <laughs> It's ridiculous. It literally, I mean, it looks it looks worse than Teen Titans Go. It's like a piece of pop art. It's like... So the leader's head is like... It's three feet tall. Oh, it's a pencil eraser. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it, well, not even an eraser. It's it's a pencil. Like, it, it's it's everything but, like, the pointed end. But, I mean, it is just terrible. And I, I feel like... Because looking at some of his hey, other stuff, hey, it actually Tim looks Drake okay. Tim Drake was rolling in my heart. Look at... He was your Robin. He was my Robin. I grew up with him. Looking at, you know, other things like he's done, I feel like somebody told him to do the art this way, Very but well. it's terrible. So we can't we can't necessarily say that. A wild female appeared. A wild female did appear. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like a wild Anyways. female appeared. Okay. And on that note, let's also get to what we have long said is the worst comic ever. being published. Pu- oh, yeah, worst comic published. Potentially like, ever. Not ever, but right now. Uh, and then, of course, is Team Team Titans. Titans. Uh, their Trigon run was horrible. Oh, God. The way they handled Raven was horrible. The whole, like, possessed thing with the Titans was really bad and wasn't even explained. It just was spontaneous, and then it was over. 
and then like they tried like at the same time they tried crossing over with like the Batman stuff and that didn't work out and then that just like they just finished the Trigon stuff and now they're trying to tie in with like the Forever Evil stuff and that fell flat. That's been two years and it is steadily the worst comic in history. Yes. Um. Anyways, as sad as that is, to moving say, on. We have you know one more award for the comics category and we're going to be giving out. I believe publisher. we actually we don't have a graphic for this one, uh, but it is best publisher. Um. This one will shock people. I feel like we're not going to give any hints, and without further ado, the best publisher is... I got this. Valiant Comics. Yes. Now, the reason why is because Marvel, DC, they have put out great comics. Great ones, And great Image, writers. too, but at the same time, they publish bad comics. Yep. Valiant Comics, though, all across the board, all their series are great. I have fantastic like, so far. Eternal Warrior, Exo Man of War, Archer and Armstrong, Harbinger... Unity, etc. They're all great comics. Yes. No, they're fantastic. Uh, and that's why that high standard is why they win like, that award. See, they don't have the publicity that they should, and they don't have, like, like they still sell pretty well, but they don't, like, you know, for for a third party, they're doing really well. But, you know, honestly, for the quality they have, it's a... It's a they, they're quality over quantity. Yeah. They don't. They don't have like thirty plus different series going on. They have like they don't have eight, six Batman they series. They have like ten max, I think, series going on. They're they're slowly adding they're on. They're fantastic. Yeah, and it's they're great. So that's the shocker, I think. Uh, but real, real quick, let's go to some fan reaction in the comments there. Uh, oh, wait, you have the comments up there? Comments? Yeah, yeah we see the comments on the phone. So Jay and Lee, what's Lee. bad from Image? Well, they they published a few like Young Blood, um. Their recent Savage Dragon run, it wasn't that great, uh, honestly. Um, they, like, obviously Walking Dead's doing pretty well, um, obviously. It's, it's loved by everybody. And East of West is really good. But they're in a similar predicament that Marvel and DC are, where they have a lot of comics, and a lot of them have been running for a long time, and I don't think they want to end them, because a lot of them have name value, like Savage Dragon, uh, Spawn. But every comic that's... That, you know, runs for a long time. It's bound to have a bad spot. And I'm not saying they're all bad. It's just all across the board, Valiant is better than them. Like, I don't know how to... Like, read their comics. Like, go to a library, because they can't kick you off for reading the comics without buying them. Go to a library. Check out Valiant Comics, Image Comics, Marvel, DC. Just pick out, like, three random ones of each one. And I bet you, you'll get, like, a one... Like, 1 to 3, 2 out of 3 ratio for Marvel slash DC. Probably a solid 2 out of 3 for Image. But for Valiant, you'll get a 3 out of 3. There's no way for me to play him off, people. So I am sorry, because he's just going to have to keep talking. Anyways, uh, thank you, Amin, for also pointing out that, uh, not according to DC, Tim Drake was only Red Robin. They even are, so they even updated their, their Teen Titans issue, so he doesn't even say anything wrong. He says, I'm, I was Red Robin. Okay, good. Okay, so, and anyways, my phone. that is the fan reaction. I'm going to, yeah, Red Robin. Your phone. Um, now, let's see if we can get Nick Whitcomb was expressing interest in getting Saga. Home. So, um, if William could stop breaking things. Uh, I've heard something with good things from Saga. So. Yep. It's not only he's also a fan who added us on Skype. So, yes, we're going to add some people here and get their opinions. <clears throat> Nick Whitcomb, coming up now. Nick Whitcomb. Lovely ring. Mm. I love this ring. Hello? Hey, what's up? Nick, how you doing, man? I'm good. How are you guys? We're doing all right. Uh, just, you know, staying afloat despite some technical difficulties. Yes. Uh, so, anything you want to say, first of all? Uh, DC. <laughs> <laughs> Other than fuck you, Man of Steel is the best ever. Uh, no, Man of Steel, eh, it's not that good, man. <laughs> thank, thank you for admitting that. <laughs> um, no. Anyway, so, uh, what was your favorite movie of 2013? Favorite comic like, movie? Overall, or? Uh, yeah. A uh, comic? Yeah. Uh, like, I guess Man of Steel, but they're all pretty, like, bad. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to last year, I will say, you know, like I said, big shoes to fill, and we just got, we got a lot of, you know, movies as opposed to, you know, some really, really good ones. But, all right, Josh, yes. asking some questions. About what? Just anything. 
Okay, well, I'll see. Anyways, we lost it, but for people in the, it's watching, I guess, yeah. For people watching, I should right, be back. Nick, are you there? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, what, what is your favorite comic of this year? Uh, it'd probably be it's still either Batman or Superman and Chain. Uh, yeah. What about, uh, comic book storyline? Like, Forever Evil... Infinity, Death of a Family. Definitely Infinity. Infinity, yeah, so that's what we said. Oh, hey, right, man. So, uh, check out the Riff, everybody listening. Just starting out, it's a new channel. We do Riffs and uh, music and stuff like that. It's okay. We can, we'll take some ads here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, so the Riff, is that the name of it? Just the Riff? Yeah. All right, All right, go check, check out, out the riff. riff. It's funny. These guys are, you know, cool guys. They recently had a Skype call that was what? Did it ever get to like 300 hours long? Yeah, nearly 300. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> There's also a requesting to be on the show. R.I.P. Uncle Phil. Yes, Uncle Phil is dead. Peace, uh, um, James yeah. Avery. Yes. Uh, or Uncle Phil, a.k.a. Shredder. Sure, yeah, he voiced Shredder. Yeah. Anyways, so, uh, all right, Nick, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for chiming in. Yep. All right. Good talking to you. Anyways, let's go to the next next caller. This is Amath Mbaye. Amath, Amath Mbaye. Okay. Amath Mbaye? It's okay. For him. He didn't answer the phone? He did not answer. Bum, 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 Seems like he's not answering. Hello. Hey, how you doing, man? I'm fine, how are you? Oh, I'm doing good. Just, you know, you trying, to, trying, to stay alive, trying to stay alive through the technical difficulties. Where are you from? Like, country. You seem to have, like, an accent. It's not American based. I'm from Indiana, but my parents are from oh. um, Africa. I was going to say, yeah, Indiana. <laughs> that that not, shows. Jesus, Josh. Um, okay, anyways. So, what do you think of the show so far? Um, it's, it's been going good. Once we it's finally better. got it started, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, just 8 p.m. Central Time. Uh, anyway, so what was your favorite comic book movie of 2013? My favorite, um, probably The Wolverine. I would agree, <laughs> yes. It's such a good movie. It was very good. Uh, Jackman is always consistently the best. I think he's redefined that character, but, uh... Yeah, but Anyways. I'm worrying who they're going to find to play him after, like, he retires from the Yeah, thing. he said he's, he's he's wrapping up. I think he said, I think this, I don't know if he said if Days of Future Past is going to be his last one or not, but he said he's he's getting tired of it. So that's another one. It's like, I don't know who would replace Robert Downey Jr. Uh, as Iron Man. You. Me? No. No. Me? No. Not win. Me? No. Win. <laughs> so what about uh TV? Uh, do, do you, you watch... think they're gonna add like TV, um, what up? like animated or like live action? Any best TV show of the year? Probably. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. Somebody watch the video. So what were you saying uh, before? You were saying something. Like in the Wolverine, do you think like from the series, do you think they're gonna add like Bacon and like X twenty three? No. It's interesting because the, uh, I guess, uh, I don't know about X-23, but I know there was sort of like a story I think James Mangold was saying, or someone was saying that uh, there were... Uh, well, it could be Dakin. Well, no, they were saying uh, Lady Deathstrike from X-2 was actually in, uh, she was supposed to be working for the Silver Samurai, I guess, secretly. Uh, somebody was saying, I don't know if that was just a theory, but I heard that. So... Uh. Anyways, uh, so what are you looking forward to in 2014? 2014? Movie-wise, uh, comic-wise, TV show-wise? Comic, I'm looking forward to any new, like, Wolverine cartoons yeah, and comics, because I'm a Wolverine fan. That's good, that's good. 
All right, man. Well, thank you for talking. Thank you for being here. Thanks, Adam. Yourself. No problem. Yeah, have a great night, man. All right, see ya. Thank you. Yeah, Antoine, thank you for the, the twerking yes. thing. Yes. Is that a video of Antoine twerking? No, it's not him. It's a girl twerking. Why would he send the video? He posted a video on YouTube. Of, it was like the Comic Awards happening now, and it was like a girl, girl twerking. <laughs> any way possible, I guess. Always so, a pleasure. Anyways, any more comments? Or? No. No? All right, so now the final category, other than you know, our last little award and the most anticipated, is uh, video games. Uh, so, you know, we're going to get started. Best video game, I feel like a lot of you might know this, but there were a lot of good video games, like Arkham Origins came out this year. A lot of people kind of liked that. That was mixed. That was mixed. There were a couple different Lego games. Uh, those seemed to get really good reviews. Lego Batman got Lego Batman. good reviews. Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Is it Lego Super Hero Marvel? Lego, Lego Marvel, Marvel Super Heroes. That got good reviews. Um, but anyways... And without further ado, the winner is Lego Marvel Super Heroes uh, from Telltale Games and WB Interactive. If you didn't like that game, then you're not even It was alive. essentially like Grand Theft Auto with Lego or with Marvel. It's like, it, was like, it was like the stuff. perfect Marvel game. Like the, only, was. the only complaint people could have about it was that it's a Lego game. It's not like, yeah. like the actual heroes, heroes per se. Lego base, but like, it's still enjoyable. Like, you're controlling Iron Man, you can fly around the city... Shoot repulsor blast. You you do it. Iron Man does. You're the Hulk. You can you you can even turn Bruce Bruce Banner to the Hulk. I'm waiting to get it for PS4. I hear it's that good. Um, but anyways, worst video game. Uh, and you'll find this interesting. It was kind of hard to think of something because I didn't realize how many games came out this year. It's sort of like RIPD. But you know, like I said, without further ado, Young Justice Legacy. Uh, from Freedom Factory Studios and WB Interactive. Such a bad game. Just let me point out, WB Interactive was the production company for both of they those published, games. They published every game this year. They published <laughs> Young Justice Legacy. Or I guess they were publishers. Injustice. Yeah. Lego Marvel Super Heroes. It's like every Lego superhero Batman. game has to have. And I was surprised about the Marvel. I figured about Batman, but not about you know, Lego Marvel. Well, I think it's because they, they either own Lego or they have a partnership with Lego. Who knows? Because they're also distributing the Lego movies. So. Anyways, uh, so that's really interesting. But next year, I guess, are we supposed to do uh, Steady or Computers? Uh, do I don't know about that, but you're definitely going to be getting new games. Oh, uh, we'll see. So, do we have another fan that wants to join in? All right, what's his name? Real quick, Andres. Andres? Andres. Andres. Andres Rivera? Andres Rivera. All right. Andres. You know Andres? Yes. Can you go and try and uh, collect the votes for the uh, There were, like, two votes, and they're all... Stupid. Okay. Well, we're just going to come up with They're something. They're all stupid. Then. We already have your villain. We know your villain. Yeah. We do. We had a backup plan, you guys. The Last of Us doesn't count because we're just talking about comic book games. Yes, comic book games. Andres, pick up. Fix the audio. Can you not hear us? You have to be more specific. It looks like Andres might not be doing the call. Andres is... We might just go back to Antoine. Antoine. You might have to do Antoine again? Go back said. to Antoine. Go back to Antoine. Back in black. Back in Antoine. Back in Antoine. He's not even black. So you're not you're black. You're as black as he is. Yeah, you are. The only difference is He's your daddy's a cracker. He's My mom was world. a cracker. Woo, woo. Those are fighting words. <laughs> Alright, Andres. Andres, if you if you uh if you're watching, just go ahead and give us a call back. Yeah, and we'll try to get you on the show. All right, man. Here to go. Relax let's there. see. Let's see if uh maybe Antoine wants to have some final swan Boys comments. Later after this. Do you have any final comments to add, Antoine? God, there's some weird beeping sound going on with the video. Yeah, it's the that Skype was, call. That was the Skype call. Oh, okay. I was Not bad, you. Um. Anyways, Antoine. So, we didn't talk about video games, or comics, really. Uh, so, what was your favorite comic book? Uh, your favorite story, favorite comic in general? Uh, I gotta say, I really enjoyed Ultimate Spider-Man with Miles Morales. That's mm. good shit. Good pick. Do we and, No, we good. Uh, at the beginning of the year, I was reading, um, what's it called? That, that one comic that Josh is obsessed with. with like, X-Men kind of War. Yeah. <laughs> Why is she reading it now? Yeah, because it was a hassle just getting the comic. Well, disconnect that call. <laughs> disconnect that call. All right, see you later, man. No, no. 
All right, so Antoine, did you play Arkham Origins or Lego Brooke just Marvel got Superheroes? on YouTube. Yeah, I know. Brooke, Brooke, Brooke says, on, Brooke man. Batwell. Brooke is Super now. Saiyan, what about you? Brooke, Brookie B. Brooke, you should subscribe. All right. Is she even subscribed to us? Probably not. Uh, I, just follow I don't blame her. Uh, Brooke be tripping. So, Antoine, what was your favorite? Did you play any superhero games this year? Yeah, I played uh, Batman Origins. How was or that Arkham compared Origins. to the other two? I mean, I know, I know but explain to me. Um, it's better than Young Justice. Legacy, I feel like it could have been a great game, but then after the show got canceled, they kind of just gave up. Yeah, and, like, they were like, well, really well market or anything it now. Anyways, oh, hey, Armin, I'm glad you got on near the end of our video. Armin, goddamn you, you missed everything. Um, you missed when we uh, gave Jeff Johns right. a Lifetime Achievement Award, Best Writer. At the very end, we'll run down the list of yeah, everything. We'll just I'll say it as us. fast as I can. Um, and Armin, Armin, if you would like to get on the show, please feel free to call us on Skype. Yeah, yeah. if you want to venture on. We would man. love your input. <laughs> you Anyways. Know. All right, thank so, you, Antoine. Thank you, man. welcome. Also, I hope The Rock becomes awful now. All right, me too, man. Anyways. Real quick, we're gonna have Will come over. Scooch. Yeah. Scooch. If you want to get on Skype, add CJ. Interview with a comic book outsider. CJ underscore P A S C H A L L. All right. All right. Yeah. This is our technical producer. I did. You all know and hate him now. It wasn't uh, my fault. Tell us up. It was. So Will, what was your favorite comic book movie of 2013? Since you've seen like two of them. Uh, out of the ones I've seen, that has to go with Iron Man three because Good that's choice. pretty much the only one I have seen this year did so you see far. Man of Steel? I did not. I have not seen Man of Steel. I have not seen Thor 2. I have not seen Wolverine. I heard it's a great one. You need to watch that. You should watch that tonight. Related. We can. Sure. All right. We'll watch right. that tonight. And uh, are we going to the Will Award? No, not quite yet. So, I know you didn't read any comics. Yeah. Did you watch any TV? Have you watched any Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? I have watched Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Do you hate I it? have been thoroughly confused. Okay. <laughs> I saw an episode of Arrow. He's Trevor from... Iron Man 3 right now. In the episode of Arrow, uh, some lady was on trial for knowingly letting a missile or something explode. That's essentially correct. All right. And in that's when the fact that it's wrong about everything. And that episode was cool as shit, so. Okay. All right. Of course. All right, so let's go to the Will Award. Will, we gave his very yeah. own award. Um, no. Are calling this guy right now? Are they? Oh, Armin, okay. you call you. We'll get it in a second. No, the Will Award real quick. All right. The Will Award is a comic book outsider's award for anything at all ever. So that's sort of our wild card. So. Um, all right. This was very tough seeing as I uh, don't really read comics, hardly watch comic movies. I mean, they're not bad. But, uh, you know, this year they asked me to have an award, and... Uh, after a long consideration and thought, uh, this award, the Will Award, goes to uh, Scarlett Johansson for being yes. a bad mama jama. <sighs> you realize your girlfriend is now watching the live stream. Hi, Brooke. You look nice. Okay. Hey, Brooke, you've been, you've been nice to us. All right. That ball. Anyways, is Armin coming? No. Someone named Carlton. Carlton, Carlton Greer. Why not? Let's get him on here. What's so, up, Carlton? Carlton, how's it going? Oh, going good. My middle name is Carlton, actually. So, are you serious? I feel kind of convinced. You didn't no, know that at all. So. Yeah, <laughs> it is. But, uh, so, Carlton, what do you think of the show so far? I think uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Once we got oh, past the technical awesome. stuff and the technical stuff we're still having, but. Yeah. You know. Anyways. Uh, so, what was your favorite superhero movie of 2013? Uh, R.I.P.D. R.I.P.D. Uh-oh. I was like, no! <laughs> this is a seriously important question. Who's better? Hybrid or White Sheep? This is not... Uh, I have to say White Sheep. <laughs> All right, so, anyways, all right, um, <coughs> thank you. Uh, so, TV shows, what do you think of, you know, comic book TV shows? I'm going to ask you a different question than we were asking other people. Um, are you looking forward to Marvel's Netflix run? What do you expect out of that? Uh, I don't know. I really hate Netflix right now. <laughs> I can nothing goes up, so 
I hopefully good, give me something to watch, to go through, through, through. That's the struggle. It's finding something that they don't have to mail to you that you want to watch. Uh, but, anyways, so Arrow or Agents of Shield? Uh, my name is Arrow Fan Boy. Oh, so no. oh. <laughs> Well, at least we at least we didn't say that was the worst series. So I feel like we would have a lot of angry people in the comments. Um, yeah, that would be angry. Anyways, what are you looking forward to in 2014? Uh, hopefully this Spider-Man movie doesn't suck. I actually, I'm excited for it. I think a lot of people are jumping on it. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I just hope it can get too packed. Yeah. It sounds like from what I'm hearing, the way they're pacing it is going to handle it. So This is the White yeah. Shoe Network now. This is the White Shoe Network. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Take over. Anyways. All right, guys. Thank you, Carlton. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. So that's, that's interviewing. Stay watching. Yeah, keep watching. Uh -huh. All right. Anybody else? Is Armin? He isn't. Are you even friends with Armin? Probably not. Um, yeah, you are. I am? Yeah. He's not on, though. Okay. Anyways, Armin, we're going to go through the list at the end of the show. So, if you're still watching. I re Someone says you're always sick. Josh. Me? I have bad allergies. That's the issue. It's not the fact that I'm morally sick, it's just I have bad allergies. Anyways, so there's our three more awards left to give. One of them is our most anticipated. Um, this was hard to decide. Because there's a lot coming up in the next year. I didn't realize it until I really thought about it. There's the next Spider-Man movie. Yes. Like Carl was mentioning. Um, there's Guardians of the Galaxy and Captain America. And then there's also, uh, well, there's no DC actually next year. There is well, no, the thing, off. Well, no, there's also a Super 6 movie or something like that? No, yeah, Big Hero movie. 6. Big Hero, Big Hero 6. 6. That's at, if you don't know what Big Hero 6 is, that's a Japanese uh, super team from Marvel Comics. Uh, and it's going to be a Disney animated movie. I'm actually really looking forward to that. I yeah, like but yeah, I think DC's, DC does not have a movie this year. So, odd. Um, yeah, this but, is the year of Marvel, people are calling it. But uh, yeah. anyways... It boiled down. Well, there's also two. Days of Future Past that's coming out. Oh, so, well, is it, it boils down. The big ones are Spider-Man, X-Men, Guardians, and Captain America. Captain America the two. Four. Captain America because two. Because it's the lead-in movie to Avengers two. That's just what like, I keep hearing. And the big deal that there's so many rumors about Age of Ultron that everyone wants to see Captain America to know what's going to happen. Yep. And then for Guardians of the Galaxy, obviously it's a very ambiguous project. All the people working on it have been saying how good it is. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, so of course, the really hype's good. kind of going, and also you know we have people like Vin Diesel as Groot, which I think he would do fine. Like he did Iron Giant. Yeah, yeah, no, he's a great voice actor. A lot of people um, think of him as a voice actor. Bradley really Cooper is, is always still on. Uh, Chris Pratt he's getting a lot of praise. He's even praising himself. Can I tell you the? Of course, he he is. That's you know you gotta have a good deal of narcissism. Spider Man looks pretty interesting. A lot of people are worried. The newest act. I think it's gonna be. I think good. it's gonna be fine. The the problem with Spider Man Three is that. It was different storylines trying to converge at the end miraculously yeah. into one, but the key, just like or in comic books, they have various storylines at the same time. It was essentially three different movies. It was yeah. All uh, you need is one main narrative. It sounds like everything's gonna story. connect well in the other one. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like everything's gonna connect well in that movie. So uh, without further ado, we're announcing our you know most anticipated movie of 2014 is Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Will calm yourself. What did he say? <laughs> He's like, Armin, get your drunken self on the show. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. Um, no, but our most anticipated movie is Guardians of the Galaxy because that is probably the most ambitious movie uh, since Iron Man 1 that Marvel has tried to pull off. Uh, it's not grounded on Earth at all. Uh, I mean, Thor at least had Earth in it a little bit. But it's going to be a human in outer space, sort of like, you know, something like Star Wars or Star Trek. And I think a lot of people are saying it could be Marvel's Star Wars. Uh, it could be that big. I'm looking forward to Chris Pratt. He's one of my favorite actors. So Yeah, he's a okay. good actor. And, um, yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy. So, because you guys weren't cooperating and didn't do the whole best hero and best villain thing, uh, we're going to have to go ahead and do that ourselves. But we were prepared. We know the way the comments work. So... Uh, the best villain for us, we're going to announce that first. Best villain. I'm going to let you do that because you're, you're a big fan of this guy. It, it's not on here. You remember who he is, right? Okay. Um, first off, how we, how we, or someone asked, how, we, how did we celebrate New Year's? 
Oh, that's classified. Oh, yes. Um, oh, God. Yes. Uh, I, we just kind of hung out as, you know, we had some friends over and just kind of showed up. We, we, we party. A little bit. Yeah. Oh, anyways, back to comic books. Yes. Uh, God. <laughs> back to comic books. So, the best villain, we decided it's Aldrich Killian. The yep. reason is that Malekith was underdeveloped. Zod, have a speak. Zod didn't really have much, like, he like he basically defined who he was. He was bred for this one purpose, and it wasn't anything interesting. Like, I will like, find him! Like, concept was interesting, but they didn't go into it enough to make him, like, a standout villain, per se. Like, they couldn't have really had any Kryptonian fight him. Mm -hmm. Like, nothing about Zod specifically spoke, besides his history with Jarell, which they didn't really touch upon that much, besides his scenes with Jarell. So... All in all, we chose Aldrich Killian, uh, a.k.a. the real Mandarin, mostly because of the fact that, and a lot of people have brought it up, the Mandarin comics represents the, the fears of the American people at the time, especially during the whole Vietnam War, yeah. Chinese communism thing. Aldrich Killian, first off, his character is brilliant. Yep. A lot of people were like, the whole Mandarin twist is bad. Think about it from his point of view. You're doing bad things. Give it to, you put basically, someone, they're blaming someone else. Like, it's one of those things where it makes what he's doing make total sense because it's, it's the whole published face is evil. It's like when you have a Bin Laden, you're going to want to kill the Bin Laden. Like the, the guy who's in charge of the terror can't really be in front because he's going to get shot. So he has to be pulling the strings from the shadows, which is what he did. And that's what's great. I'm hearing rumors that the Mandarin is going to actually change and be different. I'm hoping they're not true, but um, I'm hearing rumors that'll be developed. Antoine, that's not what happened, but you're very close. What did he say? He got effed up. Lots of gay sex. So hip. William is hip to that, I guess. Well, anyways, in our best hero, we're winging this because we didn't have anything for this. I'll let but, you take best well, hero. Well, Antoine has suggested the best hero go to Plastic Man. <laughs> <laughs> is that a real Plastic thing? Man? No, he wasn't in a movie. Um, anyways, best hero. Iron Man. I'll Batman. Batman. I'm gonna go ahead and say Iron Man. Like, uh, Iron Man this year. And movies yeah, here. like when it comes to movies, like the whole detective. I go. I mean, let's face thing. it. Superman inadvertently destroyed Metropolis. He wasn't really Superman per se. It was his first really? day. Let's, yeah, like it was his first day. Like, it's not fair to him because he's not experienced enough yet as Superman. But still, kind of destroyed Metropolis. Thor was backseat in his own movie. Um, Bruce Willis was Bruce Willis. Kickass was second fiddle to Hit Girl. Um, Yes, we did watch anime shows. Why she watches more anime than I do? Um, Attack on um, Titan, yo. But uh, anyway, I, I, really, I stick to like Naruto. Really, but I, I don't watch the, anime. the anime. <laughs> I don't watch the Naruto anime that I don't really. Like, uh, I catch up on the manga, but that's about anyways. Yeah, so the manga's some good stuff. Without further yeah. ado, uh, the best stuff. hero of 2013 goes to Iron Man for basically having the best superpower ever: money. And the um, movie's never getting old. The movie is actually. It's still, it's one of those things I can watch it repeatedly. I still love, the Mandarin twist gets better for me every time because it makes more sense. Ben Kingley is hilarious. Ole, ole, like, we're about to play people after this. So. Yeah, so. He's, he's fantastic. I think from top to bottom, uh, Iron Man really, what we see there is, because the third movie is where it falls apart usually. It's like Spider-Man 3 fell apart, X-Men 3 fell apart. Iron Man 3 didn't fall apart. It was one of those where it held up, and I think it was a completely different tone than the first two, and it was more like, sort of like, I don't really know, it was more, I kind of, it felt more, I, I've heard Shane Black describe it as he felt like it was more 70s, and I was kind of, it kind of feels like that, but it was uh, definitely a cool movie, I liked it a lot, but Iron Man, your best hero of 2013. So that is our final award. And, and you can't get mad at us, because we asked you guys to comment, and no one did about so, it, so. What I'm going to do now, <clears throat> as a final wrap up. Thank you, Josh. For the people that were late. For the people that were late, Armin. <coughs> I think you left that. I'm going to read this as fast as I can. Why not? Hey, why not Wolverine for best hero? Oh, that's, that's a tough question. Well, that's cut. All right, so best hero versus like best movie and everything. We like the character of Wolverine, but when it comes to... It was the story the in hero, the Wolverine that we liked a little more than Wolverine. Yeah, was, like the character... Of Wolverine in the movie isn't exactly the same as the character in the comics, and from yeah, I think for me just, personally, I'm gonna say it's 
It's just because, I mean, the thing we like the most about the Wolverine the movie, and the reason why it's the best movie is because of the story. I feel like Wolverine, the best thing about Iron Man 3, while the story was good, was also the fact that Robert Downey Jr. and the character of Tony Stark carries the movie to, like, a higher level. I think a lot of it's the charisma and the fact that, all right, so with Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, the character wasn't made in this movie for you to like him. It was more kind of, I think, like for you to sympathize with what he's gone through. Yeah. Kind of. So when we look at the character, like, we didn't like the character, so to speak. Like, we, like, we don't hate the character, but you know what I'm saying? Like, like Iron Man 3, the character was engaging. Yeah. It was fun. You enjoyed watching the character. I mean, but that's not the Wolverine. To give. You loved you loved the movie. You loved the plot. But whenever you saw Wolverine, it wasn't anything like... It, it wasn't X2. I feel Whereas, like we're getting off track because, I mean, the fact that he's charismatic and likable isn't the only reason... I'm going to let you take this. Cause I'm it's because I feel like his exploits were a little more heroic. That's, let's leave it at that. He has the best hero. Like sheep. The Academy Awards have spoken. Nobody likes hybrid. It's okay. It's okay. Get back... Do you want a hug? Yes. Yes, okay. Sorry. Right. It's okay. So now, to wrap up the show, I'm going to read off every award that we've gotten for all of you that were like, as fast as I can. <clears throat> so, Best Actor, Tom Hiddleston. Best Actress, Chloe Grace Moretz. Best Director, James Mangold. Best Movie, The Wolverine. Best Worst Actor, Ryan Reynolds. Worst Actress, Natalie Portman. Worst Director, Robert Schwinke. Worst Movie, R.I.P.D. Best Actor in TV, David Morrison. Best Actress in TV, Ming-Na Wen. Best Ensemble, Walking Dead cast. Best Live Action Series, Arrow. Best Animated Series, Young Justice. Worst Actor, Brett Dalton. Uh, worst Actress, Willa Holland. Worst Series, Teen Titans Go. And I will take comics slash video games. All right. <clears throat> best Writer and also duly as the Lifetime Achievement Award, Jeff Johns. Best Artist. Can't even say his name. Esad Reap. Ribbish. Ribbish. Okay. Ribbish. Uh, Thor, God of now. Thunder. Best Storyline, Infinity by Marvel Comics. Best Comic, East of West by Image. Best New Comic, Superior Spider-Man by Marvel. Worst Writer, Scott Dell for basically every DC comic he writes. Mm -hmm. Worst Artist, Jeff D. Palo? Jeff D. Palo. Jeff D. Palo for Thunderbolts, Marvel Comics. Worst Comic, Teen Titans, DC, written by Scott Dell no surprise. Best Publisher, Valiant Comics. Um... Best video game, Lego Marvel Super Heroes by Telltale Games, published by WB Interactive. Worst video game, Young Justice Legacy by Freedom Factory Studios, published by WB Interactive. And I just want to say that game looks like a PSP game. It does. It looks terrible. It um, looks GameCube. It's laughable. The Will Award with Scarlett Johansson. Mm. And most anticipated movie of 2014, Guardians, Guardians of the, of the Galaxy. Galaxy. Best hero, Iron Man. Was Iron Man. Best villain, Eldrick Killian. So, um, both of those coming from an Iron Man movie. A hero and villain was your guys' decisions. You guys just didn't decide. Anyways, that wraps it up. 2014 looks like it's going to be another great year, and we hope to see you all next year. Uh, same date, same time, but hopefully a little bit better we need technologically. A, um, we need a Wolverine beard. Uh, but, well, funny to say that. If we don't shave... We, I would we still could, not we get there. Pull. Well, it'd be, it wouldn't be exactly like Wolverine's beard, but... I'm pretty sure we could, we could get feral with it, you know? Like, Anyways, yeah, savage. mine would be scruffy. Uh, scruffy. Anyway, on that note, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you for joining us. We're sorry for the technical difficulties, and, you know, this will probably be live on the channel for all those that you didn't see it. Uh, but thanks for being here, and we hope to see you next year. Oh, uh, before we close it off, oh, I just want to say... Come on now, I just did the closing. No, someone said I'm looking forward to more Muslim heroes, and I'm like, I agree. I think we need more ethnic... New Captain Marvel. Marvel. Yeah, we have Captain Marvel. We're new Miss Marvel, my bad. I wish they'd get best. See, my new Miss Booty. One thing I'm, I'm, hey. I'm worried about with Simon Baz is they're introducing another female Green Lantern, so it's like... He might get underwritten. Yeah, it's like we already have Jon Stewart, Hal Jordan. Anyways. We have Kai Rayner, Guy Gardner. I'm going to take this so you can't yeah. interrupt my you know, conclusion again. See you next year. Bye. <laughs> we'll cut it off before we embarrass Stop ourselves. Broadcast. We've been embarrassing ourselves. Yeah, the entire time. Broadcast? Yes, you should. All We're right.